We have a special treat for you tonight on the Seven Conversation. We're here with Lavender from The Voice. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. So you are from West Michigan. People who have seen The Voice and have become a fan of yours may not realize that you're from Lowell. What yes. was it like growing up in Lowell? Oh my goodness, it's a very small town. Um, you know, one of those towns where like everybody knows everybody sure. kind of thing. And uh, I just, I love small towns because of the community mm -hmm. and the support I've been getting from them throughout my whole music journey has been amazing. And I'm proud to represent Lowell, so that's super cool. Well, and we also may know you, some of our West Michigan residents and viewers from um, WOTV's Idol that yes. you won about, about four years ago. Yes, yep. What was that experience that like? my first ever win <laughs> the first ever t like I've never won anything before yeah. so that right there was very pivotal in my music career because I saw you know I have potential and that I was like you know I gotta actually start taking this seriously and I, I'll tell everyone every day WOTV is what got me to this point because I believed in myself a lot more after that point and now I'm on the voice so <laughs> It's so crazy to me. It's taken you all the way to Hollywood. Yes. What's this experience been like? Oh my goodness, it's very surreal. Um, it still, in some some ways, doesn't feel like it really happened. So good thing it's on TV for me to know it actually happened. It wasn't a dream. Yeah. Um, but I've learned so much, and I've made so many friends across the whole you know country now. So things that I can take with me for life, yeah. no matter what. So I understand some things that the viewer may not see is that there's a lot of training and prep behind the scenes before you get up there in front of that microphone. Yes. What was that like? Amazing. I mean, the whole experience, you're just learning to be a better performer. So they have people working with you on your like voice lessons. You know, they have people making sure you look comfortable on stage and that for me a big thing was keeping my eyes open when I'm singing so just those little things to help me going forward and to being the performer that I want to be is so huge and so priceless for me yeah so your big your big shot was hotline bling which I thought was a really interesting song and the way you sang it was incredible thank you and you got two judges to turn around insane I I was hoping just for one so the yeah. fact that two turned and it was crazy because you know it's, it's nice when they're turned around because you, all the pressure isn't on because mm -hmm. you don't have these four icons staring at you. And then the, they turned within the first 10 seconds yeah. of me singing. And at, at one point you're like, yes, I got a chair turn. And then the other point you're like, oh my gosh, they're staring at me now. So just get through the rest of the song. And then I can freak out later. So that was intense. And then you have to pick. Yeah. Right? How did that go? So in going into it, I figured that it, I wanted Niall, and mm -hmm. and John, he he made a good argument. He he almost had me, but my heart, I had to go with Niall because his style of music is one that I can see myself doing, and so I figured, you know, he has the best sense on how to coach me as an artist, and he's also very personable. He's easy to talk to, and I thought we'd get along great, so I went with my heart on that one. Are you a One Direction fan? To be honest, I was. I never really got into okay. One Direction, okay. but. Um, you know, just seeing how he grew from being on a show kind of like the voice he was on X Factor and just seeing yes. how he he grew, I knew that he would know what it's like to be in that position. Yeah. So, you know, even just with the nerves and everything, he had great advice for me and for all of our, the, the team Nile. So that right there was like something that I'll always be able to keep in my heart. Well, and you gave all the judges something special from your heart, too. Tell yes. us about that. Yep, so the na the stage name Lavender comes from my love for the scent Lavender yeah. because it brings me a sense of calmness mm -hmm. and makes me feel zen and is a good like pre-show ritual for me and um, it helps me separate my personal life from my music career and doing that it allows me to connect with my fans on a deeper level and to be more vulnerable with them. And I wanted them to remember me, so I wanted to give them a part of me, and they loved it. And uh, Gwen had told me that it smelled like a spa, so I was like, there you go, that's exactly what I came here to do. <laughs> Perfect. You know, part of your success story that I think speaks to everybody is that from the beginning, you're self-taught. You learned how to play the guitar on YouTube, is that right? Yes, YouTube. Tell me about that. YouTube University. <laughs> I mean, you can learn literally anything yeah. you want on YouTube, but um, until I was 16 years old, I had never let anybody know that I could sing. My own parents had no idea. I, I, 
kept myself hidden in my room with my older sister's guitar, learning, teaching myself guitar. And it wasn't until I entered a Lowell, um, that was the Lowell Kent County Fair contest. And I was like, you know, if I keep having this dream, I just gotta put myself out there and see if it feels good. If it doesn't, then I'll just move on to something yeah. else. And that was the first time that I had had people hear me sing and they thought that I was just lip syncing to the song. They didn't know it was me. And, my dad was shocked and I think I placed third and just the fact that I even placed yeah. was like what <laughs> so that just made me grow my love for music and you know believing in yourself more and more as you keep winning different contests has brought me to where I am now awesome. so when you were in LA there was a lot of recording for the voice so there is there are some things you cannot tell us yes. can you give us any hints um you're gonna have to watch the show. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the next rounds after the blind, they're almost done with the blind auditions. Yep. And so the next round will be the battle round. And that's where we have to sing a song with one of our um, team members. And they pick one from that round to move to the next round, which is the knockouts. So yeah, you guys are gonna have to stay tuned oh. and see what happens. I can't wait. Any advice for people in West Michigan who are watching and rooting for you, any words? Um, just keep following me on my social media platforms. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, and Facebook. That's where I'll put the latest up-to-date news about myself and my shows and any upcoming, you know, spots you might be able to catch me at. So, All right. Well, Lavender, West Michigan Idol and star on The Voice, thank you so much thank for joining you. us on The Seven Conversation. So